hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is sharon if you're not subscribed thank you so much for joining me again in today's video i truly appreciate it so today i'm going to be collecting my vaccination card and i've been dreading the process so just a backstory what happened was that um i got vaccinated in june my first year i got it in june and then the second one i got it first week of july unfortunately when i went for the second jab um the vaccination cards did run out so up until then they didn't have any cards and i opted to go to this clinic that i went to because somebody had told me go to the queues are better and the service is much better so i did go there for the first jab the experience was very much okay and then for the second jab the queue was quite long but it moved really quickly unfortunately the cars did run out before i it was my turn so there's someone who's in like a community whatsapp group which uh the clinic does send uh, updates of vaccines and cards and they did send a message yesterday to into the group that they received more cards yesterday so i'm going to try and get my vaccination card today and i'm just failing to understand why this is happening because now i have to spare another entire day just for this whole process because i know i will not be saved as quickly as i want to because they also have quite a backlog of people who didn't receive their vaccine cards so i'm just hoping that um the queue won't be as bad and it's after 12 midday and i'm hoping by this time running out to save even wakawanda and the queue would have moved a beat um so yeah i'm going to go and collect my vaccine card i have someone playing in the background please do not mind the noise um after the clinic i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing i just picked up the camera and i decided for this week i'm just going to the i'm just going to go with the flow see where it takes it we see where it takes us i have nothing planned for this week today is a wednesday but i'll just see how the week goes i'll just take you guys along with me if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe support your girl and let's just get going because i know i'm late that's why i already also have the hat on uh, i'm about to pack the bag for water and like snacks because i'm also going with riley and i'm just hoping that the queues will be moving at least fast because there's no way the queues are shorter i know the queues are going to be longer but it's fine i'm ready but if they are too long also i think i'll go back tomorrow but then again also these cards are very few so i don't know if going tomorrow is a good idea but then this whole thing is just complicated and i don't understand how they send vaccines that don't match the number of uh, cards that they are sending to unless there's something shady going on but anyway what's new let's get going Hi guys so i am back home now and um, the whole thing the whole vaccine card was a flop because apparently the cards have run out guys i'm failing to understand how is this happening how is this even possible i got vaccinated in june and i still have to wait for my card and i know most places are now opening up i will need to use that card if at some point i do want to travel i will need that card and i just i think the inc inconvenience is really unfair but then like i said earlier what's new in this country it's just annoying that you have to spare a day to do something and then nothing just happens I got there just before one o'clock and how how are the cards finished by one o'clock the first day that you're supposed to be giving out the cards like the whole thing is just shade but anyway before i go on with this rant it's fine it's done it's okay um i'm back home i think for for today i am just going to be resting at home probably maybe cook supper and yeah that's it for the for the day i will catch up with you guys i think um tomorrow 
if you have been vaccinated guys please do let me know have you guys gotten your vaccine cards if you're in harare specifically because i'm trying to understand also if i can go to a different clinic because like i said i went to rua clinic because i was told that um there were no cues and the service was good but i think that this whole thing you share my cards doesn't really make sense so i also want to know if i can go to a different clinic to just collect the card and show them just my research the one that i used um clinic because when you your pass they write down and then when it says temp and then they just tell you we don't know when we're going to get the cards you we will let you know and in i'm not even in in a whatsapp group like the one i was talking about earlier there's someone else who's in the group but if they do send updates please let me know because it makes no sense for me to continue going back to the clinic and not get the card i would rather know that the cards are there and then have to go and collect and honestly i know everything in this country it's it's very corrupt and in, in most cases you also have to bribe someone to get things done but in a uh, vaccine card i'm not bribing anyone i'm going to wait my turn until i can get my card because i am vaccinated why do i have to pay someone just so i can get my card so i'm hoping they they don't even know when they are going to get the cards because the last page they had was in june and we are in september so if you could also wait two three more months before they get the cards i don't know but i'm just i'm just hoping something will happen and i don't know where do they get those cards please let me know i have so many questions like if it's the ministry of health who is responsible for printing out those cards and then dispatching them to, to like clinics why is it that it's it's such a big deal for them to just send more cards and also why is it that the number of cards that they are putting out doesn't match the number of um people who have been vaccinated like make it make sense please but anyway it's fine it's okay we are two wonders and dawn of the world full of war early sunrise i gave promise you said always and we run and dance i'm following i'm preaching you my church i'm yin and yin yang you're my eat i'm your ass and no one is right on this world is so nice feel no doubt To wonders and dawn of the world full of war. Early sunrise, I gave promise. You said always, and we run and dance. I'm following, I'm preaching you, my church. I'm yin and yin yang. You're my eat, I'm your ass. And no one is right, or this world is so blind. Feel no doubt. the day of the vlog um today is going to be a much much positive day i'm running errands and i was trying to get a decoder from multi-choice for my mom she needs the explorer so i was trying to get that for her but then we couldn't find it it's uh half past eight so they referred me to the avondo branch so now we have to go to the avondo branch and then from there I'm going to see what else I can do. I'm really hoping I'll be able to do all the things that I want to do today. So, yeah.
hoping the queues are quite shorter because me and queues we are not friends so i'm just gonna try and get the decor and then we'll go and get some food <music> us to come here is because i want to try out sushi and for the longest time during like the lockdown period i could i, I was just thinking the first thing i would do when they open like sit down when they open restaurants for like sit down i am going to try out sushi so that's what we are going to be doing today So this is Chicago, it has corn and cream cheese inside. Okay. And this is the rock shrimp, it has salmon inside and tempura prawn on top. Okay. And this is a salmon crunch, it has salmon inside and so what is what is this? This? What's this? This is a ginger and a sap. Is there anything raw? What did they put yes. raw? Salmon in raw shrimp. Okay. Yes. 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 thought let me just sign off this vlog here but before i do that i also wanted to give like a mini review of the sushi that i tried the sushi was from also sushi it's at queen of hearts i took uh, the chef's chef's special platter which is i think 12 dollars so it has like different types of sushi and they recommend that if you're trying it for the first time however for me i don't think i'll order that again not that it was bad but i don't think it was also excellent like i didn't enjoy it that much and it's fine um this year i wanted to try something new like sushi was one of the one was one of the things on my list so i'm glad i did got to try it but i don't think i'll ever order that again and so that's what happened also like i picked up a few things that i'll also like review 
in like a different vlog but for now i think i'll sign off this vlog here if you did enjoy this vlog please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share and if you have not subscribed please do subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video